Radeon Crimson Relive Polaris GPU Modded BIOS Fix. AMD recently came out with new Relive drivers for their AMD GPUs. I'm going to be installing the Relive drivers on a Windows 10 64-bit installation. You're going to want to start off by downloading either the 16.12.1 or 16.12.2 drivers. You can see I've already got them downloaded. Here on Tech Power Up, we can see AMD BIOS Signature Check re-enabled with Relive. Locks out Polaris BIOS modders. If you are using a modded BIOS on your AMD Polaris card and try to install AMD's excellent Crimson Relive drivers, you might be in for a surprise. Basically, if you modded your card's BIOS in search of higher overclocking, more voltage, or customized fan settings, the hash in your BIOS is no longer recognized by the new AMD drivers since it differs from the factory value. So to fix this, we have to do ASDER00's workaround below. For this workaround, we're going to need to download the modified kernel driver. If you click where it says here, you'll be directed to a mega page where you can download it. You can see I've already downloaded it. The next step is to download the Pixel Clock Patcher, which again, if you click on here, it will take you to a forum page where you can download the patcher. Again, I've already downloaded it. The next step is to extract the driver, so I'm going to double click on the driver. And then I'm going to click or hit enter to install the driver. And I'm just going to extract the driver, I'm not actually going to install it. So once the actual installer opens up, I'll close that. So now it's extracted. Driver opens up, asks me to install it. I'm just going to close this. Then I'll go to my C drive, into the AMD folder, into the driver folder itself, then into Packages, Drivers, Display, WT6A, and then the B309798 folder. This is where I'm going to want to copy the modified driver kernel. So I'll go back to my download folder and I'll extract the modified kernel. Once that's extracted, I'll copy it, then I'll go back to the AMD driver folder, and I'll paste it into this folder. I'll replace the existing file with this file. So that's done, I've got my kernel in there. The next step is to uninstall the current AMD drivers that I have on my system. So again, I'll go to C drive, Program Files, AMD, CIM, bin64, and I'll scroll down to Setup. I'll double click on Setup. Once the setup is done analyzing the system and opens up, I'm going to want to click on Uninstall. Once the settings are loaded, I'll check my settings, everything looks right, and I'm going to click on Uninstall again. If you have any problems using the AMD uninstaller, you can use DDU to uninstall your drivers. Once the drivers are uninstalled, it gives me a choice to restart now or restart later, so I'm going to select Restart Later. Now it tells me I want to reboot with advanced options, so I'm going to want to make sure I hold the Shift key while I press the Restart button. Here's my keyboard. I'm going to hold down Shift. And with my other hand, I will use the mouse to go to Restart. Click on Restart while holding down the Shift key. Now I'm greeted with a Choose an Option screen. I want to click on Troubleshoot. And then click on Advanced Options and then click on Startup Settings. When it reboots, I'll have the ability to choose the option to disable driver signature enforcement. So I'm going to click on Restart. This will restart my computer. Once it restarts, I see the Startup Settings screen. 
I want to choose number 7, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. So on my keyboard, I'm going to press F7. Now I'm back into Windows. I'll go back to my download folder and I'm going to open up the patcher. So I'll extract the patcher. Now I'm going to double click on the patcher and this will patch my driver. So I'll click yes. Driver successfully patched and signed. Now I'm done. I can restart the computer. The drivers will recognize my modded Polaris cards. So I'll go and restart the computer. Here I am back in Windows and you can see I have three modified 480s here and they are hashing away in Claymore's Ethereum Miner. We can take a look at Radeon settings. You can see I have overclocked these by 100 megahertz. That's why they're getting close to 30. And you can see the chill switch here. So you can try the chill switch. That is the new option in the Relive drivers. So that's how you get your Polaris cards to work with the new Relive drivers if you've modified the BIOS. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.